is electric. You've heard me mention it before. I think that uh, with so many different systems, so many different apps and views of the data, I have a lot of choice and flexibility about what I look at and how I look at it for my solar generation, use of, grid use, all those sort of things. The thing that's frustrated me in the past is once you've got access to this data, it should be easy to present it in how you want to see it. And that's what I find the biggest, I wouldn't say challenge, but that's what I find the biggest benefit of having so many apps. They show the data in different ways. So when you're looking to see something specific, you can choose the app that shows it and represents it best for your needs. So I, I can give you an example of that. Um, I'm going to look today at my Solar Edge app because I want to see last year what was the timing for when we stopped using just solar power and we started importing from the grid using grid use. So for me, I need to be looking at not just when we're using more units of electricity from the grid, more grid import, but also the timing of it. So I want to see it in a linear time-based graph, ideally an area chart. And lo and behold, Solar Edge does that very, very well. So if I have a look here at my Solar Edge data, and uh, here with the graphs that I can either split to see consumption and production and import and export separately or merge them together. And if I look at previous days, that's the sort of graph I'm interested in. Blue for consumption, green for solar generation. So anything above the blue is excess solar generation. So that would then um, become export and red is import from the grid. So as you can see on this date, very little. What I'm looking for is pre six o'clock where we have grid import that shows that I'm charging the battery or charging the cars, heating the hot water, doing something using cheap rate electricity. So if I go back some previous days, you'll see on this chart, a little bit of grid use there, but basically there's nothing at the six o'clock. So I'm not using any imported energy from the grid on a planned basis. But if I change the date and look at last year, let's look at from last September through to October and see if we can find the date when it happens. So let's start roughly on the 8th of September and fast forward the days and look at the um, speed at which this refreshes. Let's put it onto the top so we can see it better. If only all apps were this responsive with the data and looking back in data, you know, my energy especially, why can't they implement speed of response like this? Anyway, here we are, 15th of September. Oh, there's a little bit there, a little bit on the 16th for some reason. What am I looking for? 21st. We always have these little blips first thing in the morning at about six o'clock. So that's when um, the inverters are coming online. Something's happening and changing. And I often get this little blip that records at six o'clock. Okay, there's a little bit, but I don't think that's exactly what I'm looking for on the first. There we go. So 2nd of October last year was the first day that we started importing something. That to me looks like hot water. That's three kilowatts, just over three kilowatts. That'd be perfect for the eddy being boosted. So I think we anticipated a low solar day. Looks like it was, and we heated the hot water. The third then had even more. So something else as well as the three kilowatt heater. Fourth, so it looks like I've started heating hot water regularly and only just turning it off when we think we might have enough solar. So you start to see oh, a terrible solar day there on the 8th of October. Up to 10 kilowatts. So by the time we get to the 9th of October, um, the amount we're importing, let's just go back again. So that's just over 10 kilowatts continuous usage. Six to seven kilowatts. Remember I'm talking kilowatts here, not kilowatt hours. Oh. There we go, it's better. So I start off just doing hot water by the look of it and then start expanding with heating and uh, doing other things as well. Okay, so what I'm going to be looking at now is what happens this year? What are we going to be doing um, with 
using grid usage and when does it actually start. I've started thinking about it because we've started to notice some days aren't as good solar wise, but I do have more solar panels now. So hopefully we'll see my system last longer on just solar power and not have to revert to doing this early morning import from the grid until past the 2nd of October. Obviously that, not, that doesn't depend on how bold or um, stubborn I'm going to be. It depends on the weather, doesn't it? Um, if the weather gets severe and it gets really cold, then I'll want to do it. And if we don't have as much sunlight, then uh, I'll still want hot water. So it does depend on the weather, but hopefully we can go past the 2nd of October this year. Because I have more solar power, it's probably going to only make a kilowatt, two kilowatt hours difference, um, perhaps, when you get a low solar day. But uh, hopefully it'll make a big enough difference. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you to see how I'm using Solar Edge as an app to um, <laughs> look at what's happening last year and this year. Solar Edge is a very good app for uh, historical information, whether it's on a weekly basis, a monthly basis, an annual basis, or um, change in a week. You know, and scrolling time-wise, it's fast and interactive. And that's what I like with this app. It gives you data in your hands to manipulate and, and go and look at what's going on. I'm not necessarily interested in the solar edge information on solar generation, but it's it presents the consumption information in a way in which um, I can tell what's going on from a story point of view. And that's what I really like having all these different apps. I was looking just the other day at what app would show this sort of thing and can I see this in my energy can I see this um, in home assistant and they're not as good um, and it is frustrating isn't it that it's the same data so why can't I see this type of graph presented in this type of way and with this sort of response it's the same data it's really frustrating but um, none of these companies have nailed it yet giving everything that you want and making it customizable and uh, I think that's that's the one thing that these manufacturers need to work on, and that's the customization of the presentation of the data, giving customers not just a graph, but the data displayed in any graphical and time way that the customer chooses to have it. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's only a really quick short one just to show how I'm using the Solar Edge app, and also to look at that date that I'm aiming at, 2nd of October. Will we last as long without importing from the grid on a regular basis? Thanks for watching. See you again soon for more videos. Bye for now.